This video will cover moderate questions regarding the topic of trigonometry identities. Before learning verifying trigonometry identities, let's take a look at fundamental trigonometry identities. Remember all of them and use them when simplifying trigonometry identities. Question 1. We can rewrite as sine theta plus cosine squared theta times 1 over sine theta equals sine theta times adding two expressions requires sine theta as a common denominator then times sine theta over sine theta here plus cosine squared theta over sine theta equals sine squared theta over sine theta plus cosine squared theta over sine theta. Then make one single fraction. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over sine theta. That means 1 over sine theta, which is cosecant theta. Question 2. If you've seen a problem and don't know how to simplify it, first change all expressions to sines or cosines. Then bracket 1 over sine theta minus cosine theta over sine theta. Then open the bracket 1 over cosine theta plus 1, the same as cosine theta over cosine theta equals convert the expressions in the bracket into a single fraction 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta over cosine theta the numerator is a minus b times a plus b form then a minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared. Then the numerator is a squared, which is 1 squared minus b squared. That means cosine squared theta over sine theta times cosine theta. Then use the Pythagorean identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Then move cosine squared theta to the right. Then sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Then the numerator is sine squared theta over sine theta times cosine theta. Then sine theta is cancelled sine theta over cosine theta. The final answer is tangent theta. Question 3. Cotangent squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta. Then move cotangent theta to the right. Then 1 equals cosecant squared theta minus cotangent squared theta. Then use this tangent squared theta plus 1, which is secant squared theta. Question 4. 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus secant theta is 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta. Then 1 minus cosine theta over 1 times that one means cosine theta over cosine theta plus 1 plus cosine theta times cosine theta. It's so 1 minus cosine theta over 1 times, I want to change this, 1 plus cosine theta over cosine theta times cosine theta. Then cosine theta is cancelled. Then 1 minus 
cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. Then expand. 1 minus cosine squared theta equals sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Then move cosine squared theta to the right. Sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. So this one is sine squared theta. Question 5. Tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. Then square on each side. That means tangent squared theta equals sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. That means sine squared theta over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta over cosine squared theta times sine squared theta then times cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta equals expand the first one cosine squared theta is cancelled then sine squared theta minus sine squared theta times cosine squared theta over the denominator cosine squared theta is cancelled sine squared theta times sine squared theta then factor the numerator take out sine squared theta times 1 minus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta times sine squared theta then cancelled then 1 minus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Then the numerator is sine squared theta. The final answer equals 1. Question 6. When we expand a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, in here, sine theta is a part, cosine theta is b part. Then a squared means sine theta squared plus 2ab means sine theta times cosine theta, then doubled, which is 2 sine theta cosine theta plus b squared means cosine theta squared then cosine squared theta. Then minus 2 sine theta cosine theta. Then this one is cancelled. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, which is 1. Question 7. 1 plus cotangent squared theta is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta over cosine squared theta over sine squared theta times sine squared theta over sine squared theta equals expand first one is sine squared theta second one sine squared theta is cancelled then cosine squared theta over Cancelled, cosine squared theta. The numerator is 1, 1 over cosine squared theta, which is secant squared theta. Question 8. The first one, 1 over sine squared theta plus 1 over cosine squared theta over 1 over sine theta times 1 over cosine theta. Then times sine squared theta, cosine squared theta on each side. Expand. Sine squared theta is cancelled. 
then cosine squared theta plus the second one cosine squared theta is cancelled then sine squared theta over this part sine theta is cancelled cosine theta is cancelled then sine theta times cosine theta the numerator is 1 over sine theta times cosine theta we can rewrite as 1 over sine theta times 1 over cosine theta. The final answer is cosecant theta times secant theta. Question 9. 1 over cosine theta plus 1 over sine theta over 1 plus tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta then times sine theta cosine theta on each side expand cosine theta is cancelled then sine theta plus the second one sine theta is cancelled then cosine theta over First one, sine theta, cosine theta plus the second one, cosine theta is cancelled, then sine theta times sine theta, which is sine squared theta, equals sine theta plus cosine theta over factor the denominator, take out sine theta, sine theta times cosine theta plus sine theta then common divisor is cancelled 1 over sine theta which is cosecant theta this is the last one this part is 1 then tangent squared theta over 1 plus tangent squared theta equals we can rewrite as the first one is sine squared theta over cosine squared theta, then 1 plus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta on each side. Expand, cancelled, sine squared theta over. The first one is cosine squared theta plus the second one. Cosine squared theta is cancelled. Then sine squared theta. Then sine squared theta over the denominator is 1. The final answer is sine squared theta. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.